Hey, welcome to No Fear Food. Happy holidays. I know you're probably looking for things to do with your kid during the break. Um, we like to go to the movies. No, people don't always understand, but you do have to consider things when you have food allergies and you go to the movies. And not just about the food that you buy, but you know your environment. Um, I know with my son, when he goes by himself to the movies with his friends, I always tell him like, you know, make sure the person next to you, if you're sitting in the closed seats, um, make sure the person next to you isn't eating, you know, cheesy, buttery popcorn or sharing across you with, you know, with the, with the other neighbor. Like the, the sharing is, is the problem. If you have those big, giant, new um, theater seats, maybe you're far enough away from the person next to you. But um, you still should be concerned. Just keep aware, you know, of your environment around you. And even if the, you know, they've told you that the oil is safe, that the popcorn is popped in in the machines, I'm not sure. I wouldn't be worried about, or, we, or I am worried about cross contamination. And you often have kids that, you know, this could be their new job, and you don't know whether they are touching buttery popcorn and then, you know, you, you know, manipulating things in the machine. So I'd be concerned about cross contamination with the machines, even if the oil might be safe that it's popped in in the in the movie uh, machines. So we always bring our own popcorn. Um, it used to be really difficult to even find bags of processed popcorn that were safe, you know, free of the eight most common allergens. Um, but but more recently, there, there are a couple of brands that we trust all the time, like Angie's, Boom Chicka Pop, um, at least there's sea salt, um, as well as I think the kettle, the uh, sweet uh, corn is also safe uh, for my son. And uh, you can get the bag that has like six snack packs a size like this is great for the movie theater. Um, and there's also like Skinny Pop, and they also make like six pack bags as well. So you can use Skinny Pop popcorn, the plain one is also safe. Um, but if you're looking for like the movie experience, like the hot popcorn, and you want like something like microwave popcorn, I had the hardest time finding microwave popcorn that, did, that didn't have some sort of uh, butter flavor um, or exposure to butter, butter flavor. Um, but I did find one brand that I love and we've been using so we, he can have, you can make, make the microwave popcorn, right? In the, and I just let him take the bag even while it's still uh, sealed to the movie theater with him. So then he can just open it there and enjoy hot popcorn. And um, so Farmer Steve's popcorn. I found it at Whole Foods. I used to find it at Whole Foods and um, Wegmans, but I've also recently started finding it at ShopRite. So, so this is awesome um, popcorn for the movie theater. And now when you get to candy, there are some candies that you can buy at the, at the uh, often at the theater itself. Um, the Twizzlers, right? So they always have Twizzlers. A lot of Twizzlers are safe um, for my son. And um, this one happens to be like the filled twist, which he loves. Like so, um, Skittles. A lot of theaters sell Skittles, but you know you can buy your own and send them in. But like these are really kind of movie movie treats that that um, he can also enjoy. And your kid with food allergies can enjoy as well. Sour Patch Kids. They usually sell them at the movie theaters, and also Swedish Fish. This is that assorted uh, brand that you get the plain one too. And Tom uh, Tom's, of course. They don't always have them at the theater, but you can always sneak uh, lollipops in. And so I just wanted to share those little tips with you and um, to make your holiday season more safe and enjoyable. All right, so have fun at the movies. Happy holidays.